Hello, my Scorpio friends, and thank you for visiting me on Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo, and I'm here to give you your weekly general family, love, work, relationship all wrapped into one. Um, I'll be doing two different spreads. The first one will just be your um, overall general spread, and then I will use the um, tarot sexual magic for your love spread. So let's get started. Oops, not yet, though. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Scorpio in regards to work, home, love, or work, home, money, overall outcome of the week? What do you see for our Scorpio friends, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. Okay, so for your work, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So in regards to your job or looking for a job, um, the Knight of Swords, it's been a slow process. It's been a slow go. It's not coming in as fast as you would like. Um, you could be waiting to hear back on a resume or a job offer, and, um, and you're not hearing back on it. In your home life, you have the Ten of Wands, which I see is directly related to your Knight of Swords. Somebody is carrying all the burden of the financial aspects and everything else included. Um, because one of one of you don't have a job or this is you and you're trying to figure out how to keep the home afloat while you're looking for work. Um, the unexpected this week is justice in reverse. So... Things aren't coming um, into balance like you had hoped. If you are involved in a court case, unfortunately, I do not see it going your way. And that could be weighing on your burden or the money that you're waiting for. Um, your position in this is the Knight of Swords. You are really anxious. You're stuck in your head. Your anxiety is through the roof. Um, you can't sleep at night because you are worried. Your overall outcome, though... Of the week is the Page of Pentacles. So, um, could be um, centered around a child, could be child support, um, could be child custody. But um, the Page of Pentacles is something, a message of stability coming in. Um, I'm going to clarify with the Raider Weight here. Can I get a clarifying card for the Knight of Swords, please? Oh. Okay, we have, wow, uh, the Nine of Wands. You're very defensive. You got your guard up. It is in regards to either a choice or a lover. And you have um, a cycle completing. So I do see that this is in a court case um, about child support um, or a divorce case. Um, and now you are trying to figure out custody and child support. Um, the marriage is ending, that your cycle is ending. Um, can I get a clarifying card for the justice card? And you got the tower, the queen of wands, and then, okay, you got the tower and the queen of wands upright. So, um, obviously that is the relationship ending. Um, there might be things coming out in court that are just going to utterly shock you. Um, just as a forewarning, the Queen of Wands, you are going to be there, though, confident. You have your um, ducks in a row, and um, it's just emotionally draining you. You're very stressed out about this. Can I get a clarifying card about, for the Ten of Wands? A clarifying card for the Ten of Wands, please. So you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Woo. And... Uh, this is the worst of the worst. Look at that. You got two tens on the ground. Even though one is in reverse, this is as bad as it gets. It cannot get any worse than this. Um, you feel betrayed. You feel backstabbed. You feel hurt. You feel anger. But it is it is the last step before it's over. Um, you guys are in the final uh, process of your hearing. And uh, judgment or a choice is going to be made soon. Unfortunately... However, I do not see um, it necessarily going in your way. That doesn't mean it's not going to go in your favor. It just may not go the way you wanted it to. 
but I see you being upset about something. The fool is in reverse here, so um, you're kind of just acting out without thinking. You are acting, you know, the fool is just kind of like utter um, blissful, um, blissful ignorance, where in reverse, it's like they're just reckless. So you're being reckless with your... Um, with your thoughts here and your emotions and you're letting them get out of control. Oops, this one wanted to pop out. Um, you are, however, going to move on. There's lots of swords here, um, Scorpio. So lots of thoughts, lots of things running through your head. You are going to move on from this relationship. You are just going to have some emotional baggage that comes along with you <clears throat> because it took away your Ten of Cups. It, it made you... It made you so unhappy, but, um, the page of swords coming in could be around another child again. Um, but they're going to make you see and realize with clarity and cl a clear mind that this isn't necessarily about you. It's about the children. So can I get a clarifying card on the page of pentacles, please? Page of pentacles. Oops. Okay. So. Um, this is going to kind of cause you, um, uh, imbalance. I feel this, uh, the judgment of the courts is going to make you feel imbalanced. Another page card, page of pentacles in reverse again. So you really feel like it's taking away your sense of stability. You're scared of this divorce of this child custody hearing because you feel like you are no longer stable. You're worried about money. And yeah, there's the judgment in reverse. Unfortunately, um, it's not the choice that you want right now. This is not what you want. And the queen of pentacles. So yeah, you are really, really um, worried about the financial aspects of this. You're worried you're not going to be able to make it um, on your own. And you're worried about losing the children, paying child support, whatever um, that part of your case is going on. Um, you're just, uh, you're really caught up in your head with a lot of anxiety, but it, either way, it's going to work out. Okay. It's going to be, um, just fine. It just may not happen exactly the way you wanted it or how you thought it should go, but either way, it's going to be okay. You're going to be just fine. So we will move on to Scorpio singles. Spirit, angels, what messages do you have for Scorpio singles? For the week of January 4th to the 11th, what do they need to know? We are ready already. Okay, Scorpios. Well, you start off with the Ten of Cups. Singles. You have the Ten of Cups. You have your eye on somebody and you want to... You want to... Just... Engulf them. I'm getting... <laughs> Um, it's being clarified by the seven of cups. Um, so the part that makes you so intrigued is their mystery. They have a certain kind of, um, unknown about them that you can't quite figure out. And that's what turns you on so much. You have the four of swords here. So you really just want them to take their time with you and just, yeah, go for it. Go Scorpios. <laughs> You have the five of pentacles in reverse clarifying your ten of cups. So at this point, you would risk it all to be with this person is what I'm getting. The empress is clarifying the seven of chalices. So you know you are like hot and sexy right now. You know what you are and you know you're going to get this person. And um, you're just sitting there like, hey, the knight of chalices, um, he's coming in with an offer. Um you got the Ace of Pentacles in the uh, in the middle, the Five of Swords, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. So Spirit is warning you to be careful. This is not going to be a stable relationship with it in reverse. Um, it's going to be kind of a hit and miss, um, kind of a booty call type of thing. And you're going to allow um, you're going to allow your heart to fall too fast is what spirit is saying. And it may possibly lead to the seven of swords in reverse, which is the scandal, um, cheating card. And 
it's going to cause you to lose lose balance, lose um, uh, self-confidence. So just really be careful. Scorpio, um, Spirit is warning you that, yeah, they may be very tempting. They may look like everything you want, but be careful. Do not let your heart fall too fast because you are not healed from your past relationship yet. And you could possibly end up getting burned. So it might be just for the best for you to stay single this week. For you, exclusively dating and married couples. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for our exclusively dating and married Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus couples for this week? What do they need to know? What do they get to know? What do you want them to know? Okay. Six of Wands is your uh, central issue. That's being clarified by the Justice in Reverse and the Queen of Chalices. So um, the Six of Wands, uh, you, you feel like this uh, relationship is exactly what you want. You won the prize. You got exactly what you had hoped for. Um, in the past, you were in re a relationship that was very unbalanced. Um, you were with a manipulator, a cheater, a narcissist. And in the future, you have the queen of chalices. So you are just, this difference in relationships is so, um, such a breath of fresh air that you can see yourself with this person forever, but don't get too comfortable too quick because you have the tower in the middle. So there are third parties, jealousy, um, rage, um, I am seeing abuse, uh, yeah, and you have the chariot in reverse clarifying that, which means you are unable to move forward. Um, you're unable to leave this person, and I'm I'm getting because he's so controlling. Um, and you have the hermit in reverse, so there's definitely somebody else in the picture, and you're just having to sit there off to the side knowing this is going on because he's not letting you go nowhere. I feel this, yeah, this is crazy. Um, the seven of wands is clarifying the tower and so you confront the your uh, partner about this or they you and you get very defensive very defensive very quick i do see um this ending though with the death card we are going to come out of this relationship with the three of swords because there are three of you and you know it and your last row is the six of chalices so you're going to end up leaving this relationship but you're going to find yourself um thinking about them constantly. Uh, you have the strength card clarifying that spirit is reminding you, you always have the strength to overcome anything you put your mind to. Do not go back to this relationship. It is toxic. Um, you have the six of swords over here as well. So it's just going to cause you heartache. Um, so move on, move on. It is very toxic. Spirit keeps saying, so that is for a very certain group of you. Um, if you are in the, that third party relationship where your um, other person is very uh, controlling and demanding of you, abusive, spirit is saying to get out now um, and it'll be okay. So you have the strength to do this because it is not doing you any justice staying there. So that is definitely for a group of you, certain group of you. It does not always resonate with everybody. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this. If it doesn't resonate, try again next week. If it does, just take out whatever parts fit your situation and leave the rest because I'm always reading for a collective. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I hope you guys are having a wonderful beginning to the new year, and I hope to see you guys next week. As always, thanks for your likes, comments, shares, and subscriptions, and I'm sending you love and light.